Hi friends, this is Anna with Scrapping, Stamping and Stuff. Today I'm here to show you how to make a really cute baby card. Now I made one of these up the other day. I left it at my stamp club. I have with some local Amish ladies, which I just love going to. And I left it there, so I don't have my sample to show you, but this will come together in just a couple of minutes and then you'll get to see the end result. So we are going to use this hippie, hippo happiness, hippo happiness stamp set, which is adorable. This is a favorite in the new catalog. Uh, I love, it's got the hippos, the, this one you can either use as a horse or a unicorn, you know, like, I don't know what this unicorn obsession is all about, but hey, I, I guess jump on and ride it. So then we have the little lamb and butterfly with all of these really cute sayings to go with them. Hip, hippo, hooray, when in doubt, be a unicorn. You are special, fluttering by to say hi. Thank you so much. Um, just happy birthday to you. Just really cute sayings to go in it. So they had requested that we make a baby card with one of the cute animal sets in the catalog. So I pulled this one out and made up a cute card with it. So here's what we need for this card. We need our card base. This is so saffron cardstock. It measures five and a half by eight and a half, folded in half. This piece is four by five and a quarter white cardstock embossed with our brick and mortar embossing folder. Love this. One of the ladies commented on this and I've heard this so many times. She said, you know, I have a brick embossing folder, but it's not like this. Look at this. I love how you have like one layer of bricks in the background and then you have the few that are spread sporadically about that pop up farther. So really neat and unique brick background with that embossing folder. We have a two and a quarter inch piece of circle from So Saffron, a two inch circle from white. This is a half inch strip of Whisper White that measures four inches long. So let's do our stamping first. We are going to stamp the hippo on this. I chose the hippo. I thought it would make an adorable baby card, which really any of those animals would. So the greeting will go on this strip and I chose the hip hippo hooray one. So I want to stamp this in the center. I will be using smoky slate and basic gray inks on this. So I use smoky slate on that one. Now we're going to stamp this three-step hippo and I'm going to use smoky slate for this piece that the, this background that stamps the whole hippo. If you wanted, you could set this up in your stamparatus and line them all up perfectly that way, especially if you're going to do more than one of these. Since I'm just doing one, I just decided I'll just do it this way. And since I already had my circle punched out, so I'm going to do my best to line up this. For the second part of the hippo, I'm using basic gray. I wanted it to be a little bit darker. And then I want to stamp its face, its big smile with this basic gray. And the way I try to line up the face is, see the little uh, nostrils? that We have the eyes on top, the nostrils in the middle, and then the smile. So I try to line up the nostrils with the nostrils as I'm looking at this. Does not need to be perfect by any means. There we go. And then, just for fun, I'll bring the smoky slate back in, I think. And this is a cute little stamp with stars or confetti or whatever you want to consider that. So I just stamp that all the way around. So our hippo is now sparkling. With our greeting, I want to punch the ends with our new Banners Pick-A-Punch. I have used this a few times already in my videos, and you will continue to see it much, much more. Now, it is, there we go, it wouldn't slide in all the way. A good way to check is to look underneath and make sure you see it there to make sure it has slid in all the way. Oops. 
So you could choose either that end that points out or the one that cuts inward. Or it's fun if you have a couple of these pieces and you can do like layer them one on top, one pointing out, one pointing in. Okay, now we have everything ready and we just need to put this together and then we'll stamp the inside. I've mentioned if you are using our new seal adhesive, a lot of times when I start for the day, it doesn't want to catch. Or if it sits for a while, it doesn't want to catch right away. So I just roll it a little bit with my finger and after that it works just fine. I love this brick embossing folder. It's been a while since I've used it and I'm not sure why. So I wanna put this circle up here in the center. Now the hippo, I am going to pop up with some dimensionals. I make so many basic cards that can be used for all sorts of occasions. Sometimes I forget to make things like baby cards and I've been running low on wedding and wedding and sympathy cards. So sometime here soon, we may have to catch up on some of those and share some more of those types of ideas. Put our little greeting down here at the bottom. Now on the inside, I have this Hello Baby stamp from the So Sentimental stamp set. This came out in our mini catalog back in January and has some really nice, some of these are really large stamps that are great to take up lots of space and not have to add so much decoration on your cards. Uh, but just some nice ones for different occasions. So we use this cute little baby one. And stamp it right here in the center. If you wanted to, you could add another little hippo on the inside. But I'm going to leave it just like that. So there you go. A quick and easy baby card with the hippo happiness stamp set. And this amazing brick and mortar embossing folder. Thanks for joining in. You can find more ideas and inspiration on my website at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. I hope you find some things there that you love and you can find links to my online store where you can order your supplies. Have a great day and I hope to see you next time.